Hello, people, and welcome to another edition of the Sean's Two Cents. I'm here to review uh, Master Republic's Masked Mania event, which happened this past Sunday at the former ECW Arena, which is the first ever big Lucha Libre show outside of LA, Chicago, or New York. Bringing Lucha Libre to a new city, which is a great thing. I think Kevin Klein Rock and company are doing. I was very excited for it. Had a, had a good card. My expectations were pretty low. I was like, hey, this is going to be a good show. But this exceeded my expectations. Had some great matches. I was really amazed by the legends on the card, which really went well. Ex two excellent matches, I think, are are must-sees. For 995, the show was great. The live stream, I, I had problems with. I know if it was just my computer. My computer's a little slow. But I couldn't watch the live stream. Then I got frustrated. So I watched it on VOD. Took a day to get the whole show on. But not, not a problem. This shit happens. Uh, no, no problem to anybody else. So it took me two days to watch the VOD. And I finally watched the full VOD. Now I'll give you a rundown of the card and my thoughts on each match as usual. So let's get right into the card. We opened up with Latin Dragon and Ultimo Panda, a PDBR fame, based in Hollywood and Frightmare, the two, two, two thirds of the special runway. And a nice pace opening match. Nothing special about it. Ultimo Panda was really over, really impressed. Heard a lot about him for the pro resolution pro 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 cards up north over in San Francisco. And I always want to see my big pan fan. And that was very funny, very good stuff here. Latin Dragon Quill, he's very underrated. I think he needs a really chance to shine. He's been in CCW doing a lot of good matches, being on wrestling. But Latin Dragon is young in the business. I think he has a good luchas thing. And Hollywood and Frightmare are always a great team. Great to see him in action. Can't wait for Jakar to be back to see him action in action very regularly. Pan Bay, Latin Dragon get the win. Then we had a great cheers match. I love six man tags. And when they were done like this, it, they're awesome. We had uh, the Syrian Portal, Ophidian, and, and Omasas and Green Ant face the three, three live Green Goes, Chuck Taylor, Orange Cassidy, Papa Don. We're not teaming together that much. Chuck Taylor, Orange Cassidy, Papa Don, we work well together. This match had a lot of lucha spots, a lot of good fast paced action. It was fast paced, wasn't slow. Everything made sense. It was a very good match. Really enjoyed it. Some good comedy spots. The, the Technicos got the win. I got my Spanish turn, is good. Ophidian and Amos is I got the win. Good match. Really, really, really can't recommend this match more. I just had a great time. I'm a big big Chicago fan. Big Dragon State fan. Big Chicago fan. It is awesome. The end of my first introduction to Negro Navarra and so our face for a title. I can't remember the title name. Sorry for my uh, lack of knowledge here. But these two are veterans. They've wrestled since like 1965. It was a map wrestling plan. No strikes. No uh, suplex. No bumps. That's all that wrestling, hold for hold. It was like, I, my eyes were like, oh my god, this is amazing. It might bore somebody, but to me, it was the most amazing thing I've ever seen. And I say, anybody check out this match. It was amazing, Matt wrestling. This, it, everything made sense. The storytelling was amazing. I watched the match, I'm like, oh my god. Something different, and I love difference, and this was different. I want to see more of this Matt wrestling Lucia. I love it. These two guys are over 40 years old, and they just out wrestled guys I've seen. Younger than them. It was fucking amazing. I loved it. Negro Navarro got the win. Love this match. Then we had one of my low points to the card. We had a Minis match. I was looking forward to the Minis. I saw Russell eating the match with the Minis, which was awesome. I expected an awesome match. I, all we got was an eight minute weird match with some weird booking. Mini Manachi defending his Minis side against uh, P P Pilaf? Pilaf? P -P, whatever the Picaro Pilaf. Sorry for mispronouncing the shit. First, he gets the win, wins the title. Then someone goes out, so he cheated, and Mariachi wins five minutes later. I don't know, it was odd. Didn't really understand it. That's that's what this is. You don't understand shit, and I didn't understand this. Then we had a decent women's match. It was pretty good. I love Von Eri. Her offense was got great. I really took more of a Sumi Sakai. She did all right. She did play a good heel. Jenny Rose on the outside was pretty interesting. Von Eri gets the win. And then we went to intermission. Then we had Cassandra versus Matt Cross. I heard a lot about Cassandra. He lived up to the hype. Great, great stuff. Love his character. Love the the what is it? the Exotico. Loved it. Him and Matt Cross were well together. Great storytelling. Great spots. Great high flying. Cassandra got the win. Awesome. I love seeing Matt Cross in the heel role. Don't really see much in the heel role. But I love his sparking character. Love, love to see more of it. Cassandra, I'm going to see more of Cassandra. I got to go to Lucha Boom one time. Then we had a great trio of match. Uh, we had a Demon 666, Bista, Besta, I think it is. 666, Sabu, 
Face of Homicide, Black Jesus, and Ruckus. A great hardcore match. Some chair usage. Some not, it was it, the, the rules weren't uh, were not in play a lot. So you had a lot of double teams, a lot of good good high flying. Really good match. I liked that they made the rules a little lax. I liked it. Damien Beast got the win. Damien Beast and Sekiro got the win. Then Damien, I think, slipped on the on the steps after the match and kind of hurt his ankle. He seemed to be in very much pain. Hope he's all well because Damien Beast are awesome guys. I've seen him twice alive. Awesome guys. Then we had the main event, which was just awesome. We had Lapart with Dr. Ryder Jr. It was an amazing match. It was very good. It was main event quality. These sort of legends. It was, and the spot was awesome. Take their mask off, roll up. Ryder Jr. gets the win. Loved it. Mass Mania was two thumbs up. 8.5 solid show for 9.95. You got more bang for your buck. It was just if this show was 15 dollars, I wouldn't mind paying it. 9.95 was great. The stream was good and the commentary was best. Joe Dombrowski, excellent commentary. He was fantastic. Leonard Jacar is always amazing. And then Sean Waltman commentary for Nico Navarro and Solar and Ryan Jr. Laparca, awesome. Sean Waltman did great commentary. The commentary was awesome. Really added to the wrestling. I really enjoyed it. Hats off to coming Klein Rock. This was awesome. This is how you do Lucha. And I have a new fan respect for Lucha. I usually hate on Lucha because of the UIPW and Lucha Pro. It's like all all right. But for the Seeing Little Solo show last Friday over in LA, that was an awesome show. This show is awesome. My Lucha and, and the ABS Lucha Libre matches, my, my feeling towards Lucha Libre have really changed. I love my eyes are opening up to all these possibilities of Lucha Libre, and I really like what Lucha Libre is, and I like that my opinion changing, and my opinion can change on things. So I would love to see it ever. Uh, Bass Mania, the crowd was great. Yeah, a lot of people there. Joe Gertner did a great job in Spanish, and I really like that. It's pretty cool. So check it out, highspots.com. 9.95 replay. That's awesome. Cheaper than a DVD. You can watch it all right away. Definitely. You got to watch it for that Silva and Navarro match. Match of the night. That's why I matched the year candidates. It was that awesome. The MOTYC candidate. I did not put on this card. Kevin Kleinrock, you asked for a review. There it was your review. I hope you watched it. Hope you liked it. And you're doing a great job, man. Peace. Oh, also forgot. Got to do my plugs. ProRSTs.com slash Deshaun Sense. Buy a shirt, support the show. The show can't go on without your support. Also, post, I mean, uh, follow me on Twitter at Sean Sense. And uh, like me on Facebook, Google Sean Sense, watch all the reviews. Interview Phoenix B, interview Sasha Derivko, Mariachi Loco, all that. Peace.